Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmanuel, and today we are diving into Fast API's API Router. In this video, I will explain what API Router does and how to build a practical example step by step for you to be able to manage your large projects. If you've ever built a Fast API app and thought, well, your, your main.py is getting messy due to a lot of codes that you have in there. That's where API Router comes in for you in Fast API. So to it. So as you can see on my screen, I already created a, a Fast API project, and I've set up my environment, which I named Fast API EMV, and I've created a folder called API Router. So inside this API Router, I'm going to create a main.py. Inside main.py. I'm going to import fast API. And I'm going to set up a hub. So normally this is how we set up a hub. And for you to create an endpoint, we just use the decorator, the hub decorator, and the function to call welcome home. So this is how we create endpoint usually in fast api but this becomes so messy when we have a large application to to manage and that's where we have to modularize our application by creating separate modules where we'll be able to manage each of these routes in each of the modules so for us to implement fast api api router the first thing we're going to do i'm going to create a folder called routes inside our API router folder. And inside the routes folder, I'm going to add another the .py file, which is users.py. So take for example, you, want, you have some endpoints that are specifically for the users and some other logics that you, you, you've written, but you don't want all of them cramped up inside the main.py. You can create a separate module like this users of py and we can import fast api router in in here for us to create our endpoints for this particular module so to do that what we have to do is from fast api we import api router now when we create the api router just like when we set up our app here the same way we have to set up our router in each of these modules. To do that, what we have to do is say route router equals API router. And that's it. Now, pay attention to this. When you are using the API router, what this means is you are no longer going to be using the app decorator like we have here to create your endpoints. Rather, you'll be using the router that we just created in our new module here. So to set up a new endpoint, what we'll have to do is to use the router decorator dot get call users. Then we define we define our function all app users now so what we have done here is we have as well create an endpoint in this our module but then what we've created here is not going to be active because remember our entry point for this application is our main.py so for us to import the routes that we just created inside the users.py what we have to do is we import the the module into our main.py so i'm going to say from routes, imports, 
users. Now that I've imported users, for us to use the API endpoints that we've created inside the users, for it to be imported into our main.py, what we have to do is to what? Is to then access this route that is available in the users by including it inside this uh, app here. So to do that, what we have to, to, to do in our code is we we'll say app dot sorry app dot include router and we're going to say users dot router and that's all so with this we have been able to separate every of our endpoints based on the modules so if we have other modules that are created in here let's say for example we have another file called permissions permissions.py the same way we'll be able to import the api router into this from fast api from fast api import api router the api router then we we instantiate the api router again say routers router equals api router right so here again we use the router decorator instead of hub dot get permissions then here we define the function to be called get all permissions then we'll return a response there permissions so the same way we included the endpoints created inside our user module the same way we can import for permissions as well all we have to do is just add since it's in the same directory we can just add permissions and for us to include the routers that the route the routes that are being created inside the permissions file then what we have to do is also app dot include include router then we do permissions dot router and that's it so if we serve application now we can then have uvcon main to save our application and now our application is up and running so let's look at what the documentation we have in our swagger then let's go to to docs and now you can see so we, this is the one we created from the main.py which is home and the one from users and the one from our permission so all these endpoints now we've been able to separate all of them and we have been able to now modularize our application into smaller smaller modules that are manageable so and that will be all for this video thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed please click the subscribe button and always click on the bell and give a thumb up for this video see you in the next video